Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the Weekly Awakening. My name is Taraku Day with Awaken Within. And today we're going to continue our journey with the top five most common dreams. And the fifth most common dream that I've come across is a sex dream. And the fourth most common dream is a snake dream. The third most common dream, which we'll go over today, is a um, dream of being back in school of some kind. The second most common dream is teeth falling out. Uh, that's the one I kind of get the most in people asking me when, I, when they first find out I interpret dreams is, is what is, I have this dream of teeth falling out. And then the most common dream that most, almost everyone has probably had at some time is like running from something or hiding from something uh, in a dream. And so today we're going to go and focus on dreams and being back in school. You can check out those other videos for those other dreams. If you've had those dreams, kind of get a little more meaning behind those, especially if it's happened recently. Um, and for more insight on dreams and dream interpretation and for you to learn how to interpret your own dreams for yourself, uh, check out my book, Life is But a Dream, Understanding Yourself Through Understanding Your Dreams by Taraku Day. You can find it on Amazon and in some local bookstores. You can find it at Barnes & Noble uh, online. And so just look for that and, and check that out if you like. But today we're going to go into um, what it means when you dream about being back in school. And so well, a couple things about dreams to remember is one, dreams are reflections of how you're using your consciousness. It's a communication from your inner self, your subconscious mind, to your outer waking mind, your conscious mind. And this mind to mind communication come, occurs within a language that dreams are in, which is a language of images. So we want to look at the images and understand what is the form and function of those images and how it relates to my own consciousness. All of your dreams are about you, the dreamer. This is because every person, place, or thing within a dream is an aspect of your, of your own consciousness, of yourself. So when we look at school, school is a place of learning. You know, you, you're in a grade, you're in, you know, maybe ninth grade, you have these different subjects that you have to learn. And if you pass those subjects, then you progress on to the 10th grade. If there's maybe one subject you didn't learn, then you have to repeat that subject, you know, take English 101 all over again, or, you know, take a pre-algebra all over again. And you have to repeat that lesson until you actually learn it and, and progress and graduate on. Well, life is very much the same way. And that's what school represents in a dream is a learning state of mind, approaching life, the lessons that you have to learn in life. You know, in life, we have lessons of, you know, um, communication. You know, if we're not very good at communicating and we have opportunities to learn how to communicate better through the relationships that we have, then we have studied that lesson of communication. We have taken the test and passed the test and we've graduated on to a new learning of communication. Or maybe we didn't pass the test. And so if we don't pass the test, then we kind of have to repeat that same lesson. And so. Kind of like, uh, you know, you're in a maybe you're in a relationship and and that other person is is being very abusive towards you, you know, emotionally or physically or mentally. And so you have to um, learn the lesson of self-love. And if you don't learn it, then you leave that relationship. You just you, you know, you, you identify this isn't healthy and you just leave it without actually learning the lesson. Then you'll probably find yourself in a similar relationship the next time around to where it ends up being abusive as well. And so you're stuck in having these same relationships because you're not actually learning the lesson. So it's like it's like going to the ninth grade, but you're not passing this one subject. So you're going into the 10th grade, still taking pre-algebra, going to the 11th grade, still taking pre-algebra. You're not learning the lesson. You're not passing the test. And so when you do learn the lesson, then it's on to, you know, algebra 101. You know, so when you actually do identify, OK, I, this is all happening. I need to learn how to love myself, how to value myself. And then when you actually learn that lesson, then maybe you find yourself into a relationship with someone where they're uplifting you and they're encouraging you and they're motivating you to be better. And so now you're on the same lesson of self-love, but the lesson is different. The, the experiences are different. You're on a more elevated plane. You know, you're on you're, you went from pre-algebra to algebra 101. It's getting a little deeper now instead of, you know, something pushing you down to force you to learn the lesson. It's something lifting you up to learn the lesson. And so that's kind of like a, an example of what that may look like. So a couple different, there's usually two different types of um, most, most often, since we're doing the most common dreams, the most common way that school shows up for most people is that either they are um, like back in school and they've already graduated, like maybe they're like in third grade and there's all these third graders around them, and, but they're back in school and they have to be in school. So that'll represent like a lesson you feel you've already learned but there's apparently more to learn, you know? So with that same example, maybe you did move on to, um, you know, something 
you know, out of out of an old toxic relationship into a more healthy relationship, and you're continuing to learn about self love, but then maybe something something comes up of your own like value or you're like devaluing yourself and something comes up to where like, you're like, Hmm, I, there's, I thought I learned about this, but apparently not. Apparently there's more for me to learn here. And so that's kind of what that dream will represent. Another dream um, with school. The other most common part is when people will feel like they're like they're back in school and there's all of a sudden a test and they feel they aren't ready to take that test. And you know, it's like, Oh my God, there's a test. There's an exam. I haven't prepared for this. And so that will represent a way in which you're feeling that life is throwing things at you that you're not ready for. Like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to take this on. I can't take this on. And so that's what that dream will be showing you is, is about that. And so that's the insight that that dream will be conveying to you. And so you want to look at the context of how the school is showing up and be able and then identify in what ways are you learning from life or not learning and should be learning. and what context is going on? You know, is the whole school empty? Is the teacher not present? Who is the teacher? Do you know the teacher? Do you know these other people? Is it a school you actually went to or is it some made up school? You know, you want to look at all of these things because every piece of every detail of these dreams will matter. And so, but essentially, if a school shows up in the dream, it's going to want you to point you in the direction of what you're learning in life, in your own life. You know, what are you learning about yourself? What are you learning about life itself? What are you learning about the universe? What are you learning about creation and creating things? You know, what, what are you learning in life or are you learning? How can you become better at learning? How you, can you begin learning? These are the kind of things you want to look at when school shows up in a dream that you've had. So I hope this helps and I hope uh, that you are learning from life and maybe you learned something from this video. So check out those other dream videos if you've had those. Uh, also, we have plenty of symbols uh, on here to help you to learn about each symbol and learn about dream interpretation, how to approach these dreams in your own life. So if there is not a symbol on here that you want to see, uh, you know, let me know, shoot me a comment or an email and let me know. And we'll, we'll see about getting that uh, symbol interpreted and put on a video and put it up there for you. And as always, I leave you in peace.